Hi friends, welcome to Unsol. So this is the 98th episode in the biology series. So today we're going to discuss about how our phones affect our eyes, how the radiation in it affects our eyes. So let's begin. So take yourself a phone, just a phone, you and your eye and the back side of your eye and the optic nerve because we need to use them in the video and also the cornea because why not okay so this is your eye this is your phone i'll just start the home button because why not it's a new type of i mean it's an old phone not a new one enjoy okay so this is a phone this is the eye a human eye or even any animal eye so there are some advantages and disadvantages for watching at the phone so one thing there i will also bust some myths so the first myth here is that the phones damage our eyes it is a myth yes so mobiles create two types of electromagnetic radiation one is the visible light spectrum yes so visible light for your eyes of course c yes so i'll use another marker for the lights so visible light that it will go here and also sometimes radio waves to like connect with the internet and stuff like that yes connect with phones there will be antennas on the sides yes so this visible light does not do anything to our eyes so that's great but another myth i mean not exactly a myth but uh, just a question you may ask so but why do our eyes feel tired after watching phone too much so this does not create any actual damage but it still kind of tires our eyes watching the phone too much because not only the phones are have a blue screen they are have a blue color not only our eyes are fitted to watch more yellow more reddish things because you know but blue kind of damages and tires our eyes and yellow and colors like that are more calming for our eyes yes so because of that i like our eyes will start straining making it feel more you know tired and if the eyes feel tired you won't get tired yes because that means your brain feels tired but your body for some reason does not let you sleep so that's why I don't watch too much phone or tv before just sleeping yes so yeah okay so next there are still many other myths but one thing but why do why do hundreds of people in this generation of ours wear specs spectacles glasses because those spectacles are genetical yes so this genes this new genes perfectly correlated with the rise of mobile phones and things like that yes so before this gene was completely passive it did not do anything but okay what happens is so when we are young when we are still as just a small baby our eyes would be too short like this so when light comes into our eye it would not exactly reach the correct places making us feel you know more blurrier yes so things would be more blurry than normal it's just a stick we are saying for reference here so this is a normal eye a person without sight at all so here they will see the perfect image a perfect rectangular stick so beautiful yeah but sometimes this gene so now at this point of time the eyes will stop just growing longer yes and the gene will just become completely pass- passive but recently it is not happening for some reason our eyes come continue to become elongated not this much but about this much which is longer than this eye so which makes things even more blurrier just as you were a baby so because of this we get many disorders like i mean many things like short sightedness things like that it's completely gene based but yeah 
So yeah, this is for today about how and how phones affect our eyes. But still, even if I said if it is not dangerous for our eyes, you should not play mobile phones or things like that too much. You still have a world outside to explore. So yeah, this is for today about how and how mobile phones affect our eyes. Bye.